One of the biggest disappointments of my life was to see the Akufuadu presidency actually close down radio stations. I think it's the most terrible thing. Given that Akufuadu was the lawyer for the Independent Media Corporation of Ghana, Radio Eyes Operators, and we fought for the independence of the media, etc., etc. So I didn't expect that they, one of the big architects of media, pluralism, and independence will, under their presidency, shut down voices opposed to their kind of uh, idea. However, and, and the, the lawyers for the NCA had indicated on multiple occasions that these entities had violated uh, well, the regulatory framework. Talking about the NCA, that is the yes. biggest, the biggest biggest pusher against freedom you know but do you it, disagree it, that they violated they didn't pay their levies they didn't renew their licenses something they're supposed that, to that do year on the year issue. and the, all that no it's not the issue the institution that should have dealt with them is not the nca you see if you look at the unesco definition of freedom of independence or uh, independence of the media they said it must be free of governmental control the NCA is a government agency with a minister, political control. That is why the Constitution, in its wisdom, actually set up a national media commission. It is um, an illegality that, uh, out of Radio I, the government, the Rawlings government, under uh, uh, Tutu passed the law, not knowing that that law will even come and uh, bite their own people later on. We will push again to ensure that what the constitution intended actually is done and that the N NCA has hijacked um, uh, the discretionary power to decide who goes on air uh, using this technical management of our frequencies.